Well, speaking of weather, climate weather can affect our crops big time. I mean, we all know that. But believe it or not, the EPA says our crops can have a heavy influence to changes in the client. Let that sink in for a moment. ABC's Ginger Z explains. It is that time of year when the fall crops are popping. Apples, pumpkin, squash, they're all plentiful. But not all farms are equal when it comes to how they treat the earth. If you want to make a sustainable choice, you can ask one very important question. Do they use synthetic fertilizer? One of the biggest impacts that farms have on the global climate is the use of synthetic fertilizers. Ryan Galt, director of the Agriculture Sustainability Institute at UC Davis, explains that synthetic fertilizers take a lot of fossil fuels to produce and can release a large amount of nitrous oxide and phosphorus, which contribute to human amplified climate change. But some farms use manure and compost or green waste as fertilizer, which can have a huge positive impact. Galt says that this, combined with cover crops, Cropping, which is just planting crops that cover the soil, can actually capture carbon to help reduce emissions. The really cool thing about agriculture is it, it is a, a major source of greenhouse gases, but it can also be a major solution uh, in terms of climate change because we know the practices that, that farmers can use to reduce greenhouse gas emissions from agriculture and to really sequester con a considerable amount of carbon in the soil using those practices as well. Not all organic farmers are certified, but if you are doing your annual apple picking trip or hitting up the farmer's market, just ask them, how do you grow your food? With this Climate Minute, I'm Ginger Z.